In February 2020, the Open University Learning Design Team's Twitter account had 908 followers. We only used it occasionally, mainly to tweet from conferences, so a few of us got together to see how it could work harder for us. Then lockdown happened, and our Twitter account suddenly became a lot more important. This short video outlines why, and what our approach to Twitter in lockdown looked like. We've included some lessons learnt that you'll find useful if, like us, you have more enthusiasm than time for social media. Initially, we developed our approach iteratively, trying things out, testing them and tweaking them, all while getting used to new ways of working from home suddenly. This meant we could tailor our approach to our ways of working. Since our aim was to share our practice, we decided to focus on increasing engagement rather than just building follower numbers. That way, we could learn from others and create a community of like-minded educators, both at the OU and beyond. On reflection, we can divide our work into three phases, which we've titled Just Get Started, Build on What Worked, and Look to the Future. Our first steps included making a shared Twitter guide with examples and topic ideas to help the team build confidence and skills, making a rota so everyone in our Twitter team could find ways of working that suited them, using various free tools, including a Hootsuite account, which we used to schedule our tweets and filter other people's. Regular meetings allowed us to look at what was working well and to share our successes. These were great for boosting confidence. In our second phase, we built on what we'd learned so far. One major lesson was that Twitter takes time. We didn't have huge amounts of that, so we needed some smart ways of working. Our tactics were collaborating on our Twitter at a glance guide, setting up lists in Twitter and filters and Hootsuite so we could see more easily who was engaging with our tweets. And then we created shareable content templates in different formats. In our third and most recent phase, we took a more strategic approach that was once again informed by what we'd learned. At the start, we decided to focus on engagement in terms of measuring our success, so we doubled down on this. We switched our focus from simply sharing content and relying on others' responses to that to purposefully engaging with others. Since we were still short on time, we created a Twitter calendar with some prepared tweets written ahead of time by two members of the team. Colleagues could then use their slot in the rota to add their own tweets and, more importantly, to focus on engagement with others' tweets. This included sharing and commenting on tweets and content from others, live tweeting from events, and replying to other Twitter users' posts. Our focus on engaging with others has paid off. Our most successful tweets in terms of engagement have been direct replies. Other popular tweets have included polls, updates on our practice via infographics, posters, and blogs. Not surprisingly, pet pics have also proved popular. We've put together a short guide to tweeting when you're pressed for time, which we'll share via our Twitter account at OU underscore LD underscore team. What I really like about being part of the Twitter team is the chance to connect with the wider community and be part of a bigger conversation. It means that we reflect on our own practice and we're also learning from others' practice. I find it a really useful source of personal development. So working in the Twitter team has been really good, I suppose in two ways. Uh, the first is that it's kind of given me a broader idea of what's happening in the learning design space. Uh, outside of our institution and the kind of things that they're interested in uh, and the sorts of things they're working on. But also when I've been making stuff to share externally, it kind of makes me reframe what it is we're doing and then the kind of try message we're trying to push across um, for that external audience. And actually doing that has helped me then reframe those conversations uh, when I'm talking to internal colleagues as well, which has been great. So yeah. Being a member of the Learning Design Twitter team has allowed me to keep up to date to the latest developments in learning design, both inside and outside of the OU. It has also allowed me to promote our learning analytics work across the world to our colleagues in learning design. Last but not least, it has kept me up to date in the latest trends and developments in Twitter and other social media platforms. As you've heard, we've enjoyed this work and learned a huge amount from it, both about learning design and about building an online network. As we reflect, we see that we've been able to sustain the project by exploring and building on what's worked. We focused on learning rather than just the numbers, kept things simple, and made the most of existing skills. 
Don't forget that we've summed up our experiences in our handout. It's available from Twitter at OU underscore LD underscore team. Do join us there and become part of our community.